The knives remain out for the fired Takagenji, forced to tidy his home in late July after a police raid. Surprise, surprise, the men in blue found exactly what they wanted too. A bong, traces of smoked marijuana, and other evidence to suggest he was possessing. This is crucial, because under Japanese law, whereas consumption is not a crime, possession is and Takagenji is now being prosecuted. Things didn't need to be taken this far. Most often they aren't. Meaning questions must be asked of Sumo's unusual willingness to cooperate with this investigation. Genji could theoretically face jail, especially if intent to supply is proven. But that outcome would appear unlikely. Still, we wonder were he not Takanohana's student, whether things might be different. The case continues. Elsewhere, the sumo world continues to react to the withdrawal from September of Hakuho, leaving Tedano Fuji as the first man to debut as a lone Yokozuna since Asashoryu in March 2003. That man's nephew, Hoshoryu, today barely hid his dismay at being denied a first Hakuho matchup having dreamed about it since training with him in 2018. I only just missed out on facing him in July, and he was clearly the man I most wanted to fight this time, he told reporters. And I was like, wow, it's finally gonna happen! And then coronavirus strikes to take it away. However, Horshoryu has vowed not to let his spirits drop, saying, I'm still looking forward to facing the top names, and I'm hoping for a winning score with no injuries. I'm training really hard at the stable with Meisei, and we're spurring each other on. His success makes me want to rise higher. I'm moving around well, and fighting even better than I expected. He must then have passed the phone to Meisei, set to debut at Sekiwake this time, who said, I feel my September warm-up has gone really well without any major injury problems. I'll be focusing on my mental approach rather than on particular opponents. I don't yet have the power to become Ozeki, but I'd like to acquire it on this rank. Having reduced his weight as part of his big July experiment, Meisei has concluded he's actually better off with the extra pounds, so as not to be pushed around. Likely leaping for joy over Hakuho's pullout is beleaguered Ozeki Shodai whose steep and winding path to eight wins now has one less pothole. He says he fought 10 to 15 bouts with Yutakayama on Monday, and that the elbow damaged at Interstable last month is now zero cause for concern. Well, we'll soon know the truth. Believe it or not, this time last year, Shodai was holding the September trophy after a barnstorming 13-2. Unsurprisingly though, there's no title talk this time. It's been a hell of a year, he said of his double dice with demotion. I had the injury too, and yet somehow I've clung on to Ozeki. I really want to reach my winning score early one of these days, but I'm always someone who only just scrapes through. I don't want to be defending all the time though, and hope to attack more from now on. People talk about my high hips, but that's something I'll work on gradually, as they are integral to my style, and I can't let that style just vanish. And he thanked coach Kasugano for aggressively reminding him of his duties during Interstable, admitting, Yes, due to the COVID situation I hadn't met some of the guys in ages and got talking rather too much. I was a bit slack, and I'm grateful coach Kasugano looked out for me as a fellow unigrad. Finally then, just an update on virus hit stables. No further infections at Oguruma, meaning all their wrestlers are good to go. But we're still waiting for the final confirmation from Minato stable. Where Komusubi Ichinojo has apparently recovered from the virus, but just needs the final green light. The action of course, now starts in just over four days time.